car plows into a home, but no one is found in the driver's seat. The accident went undiscovered for almost an hour. It happened on Hunzinger Lane. That's near the Klondike neighborhood. Steve Bergen reports one person was taken to the hospital. Steve? Rick, the homeowner says when Metro Police and firefighters arrived around 545 this morning, they found a person lying in the back seat of a wrecked vehicle. This is what emergency crews saw when they arrived in the 3800 block of Hunsinger Lane. The car finally came to a stop after slamming into the home's attached garage. Most of the vehicle was hidden under a holly tree. Bricks covered the front windshield and the hood. Homeowner David Mayer says he slept through it, but his 19-year-old son alerted him to the damage when he got ready to go to work. I checked it to see if anybody was in there, but the door was open, so I just assumed they took off on foot. However, police found a woman in the back seat. She was first placed into the back of a patrol car, but a few minutes later was taken out of the cruiser and into an ambulance. The Lexus had hit a mailbox and trash container a few yards from Mayor's home before traveling across the roadway into Mayor's yard, taking out a tree before hitting the house. The family has lived here less than one year. You're right here on a curve. This isn't the first time this has happened. No, this is the fourth time, but this is the only time somebody struck the house. The driver may have first hit a parked van blocks away on Sunrise Way. The owner came to Mayor's home to check out the Lexus. By mid morning, crews were working to support the damaged portion of the house. Insurance should cover the cost, but Mayor says enough is enough. Right now, we need a guardrail there because they come close all the time. Now, there's no word tonight on the woman's name or condition, and at this point, police have not told us who was driving. Steve Bergen, W.